Hello, and welcome to Questions TV in association with UCloud USA Incorporated and our host, Philip Strickland. I'm Diane Pettis, owner of Diane Heart Wellness, LLC, and I really want to thank you for tuning in today. This is our inaugural episode of Questions TV, and I hope that you'll continue to tune in with us uh, as we have future episodes. What I want to do today, since this is our inaugural episode, is really to, to give you an introduction to, to me and what I'm about and what to expect and how you can benefit from uh, tuning in uh, time after time to our, to our channel today. So um, what I do with Diane Heart Wellness is to provide education, I provide counseling, uh, coaching, and what I help people to do is to develop a high level of wellness in a holistic way. So mind, body, spirit, and I'll get into what that is in a little bit, but I just really wanted to let you know what you can expect and how as, as you're listening to me and as you're thinking about questions that you might have on topics that you can send those in to us and we'll tell you how to get in touch with us. Uh, first of all, though, I, I am a family nurse practitioner as you saw in the, in the credits in the beginning, I'm a CRNP, which is a Certified Registered Nurse Practitioner. Been a nurse for a long time, been a family nurse practitioner for a long, long time. Uh, graduated from University of Pittsburgh with a bachelor's in nursing in 81, and then went on to get my master's in nursing at Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio, and that was in 1996. So over time, I've, I've seen lots of patients um, from, from little premature babies that I could hold in the palm of my hand to the elderly, worked in all kinds of um, areas, home care, pediatric home care, elderly, worked in clinics, worked in the hospital, and I am a, an Army nurse veteran with 11, almost 12 years of service. So I, I've seen a lots of things and taught lots of things. The other thing that I do which has been important and which has been uh, instrumental in how I've developed as a provider over the years is I've been uh, health ministry. Uh, I've developed health ministry programs. And as I've taught uh, in classes and out classes, you know, paid and volunteer, I've been able to see how holistic health, the mind, body, and spirit, how that comes together to affect your health. And so over time, I've, I've gone from purely teaching people about uh, what to eat, what not to eat, what, what, what to do as far as preventing diabetes and, and heart disease, going more from an illness to wellness because what I found is people know what to do basically. They know, oh, what they're not supposed to eat. They know that they need to exercise several times a week. They know that they should manage their stress, but what is the root cause of that? And so over time that has, has helped me kind of morph what I do for people and what I talk about and what I know helps people best to, uh, to improve their health. So the different, um, you know, my day job, that was, that was my day job. I was telling you about my, my, uh, my, side, my side hustle, my side business that I, that I really have a passion for. But my day job, just to let you know, is I work in, uh, in a clinic setting in the topics of sexually transmitted diseases and HIV. So I have that background as well. But what I, what I typically focus on going from the, uh, the illness more toward wellness is a, a, a program that developed over time from my health ministry days. I talk about temple building, building your temple in a holistic way. And I'll get to that definition of, of holism in, in a bit. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, affirm your life now. That is a workbook that I've uh, written a few years ago, and it deals with affirmations and how to use your words, the power of your words to, uh, to, to, to attract what you want in your life, whether that's health or something tangible. And uh, so I do a lot of talks about that. I talk about being better, being better, again, holistically in your, in your life, your relationships, 
and uh, in your health. I talk about financial wellness because that is a piece of, of holistic health. A lot of people that I see in, in practice, they're stressed. They're stressed out because they don't have money or they have lack of money. It, it's, it's rarely because people have a lot of money <laughs> that they're stressed. So I, I do talk about that as well. Uh, talk about uh, using alternative treatments and, and essential oils and how that can be so helpful for you. And also, again, the health ministries, helping people to, to connect their, their faith and their health. So that I find is a very important thing. But what I do is I, I present, and what I will do in, in these episodes is prevent, present a mixture, a mixture of uh, traditional health information, and that's gonna be based on your question. So really uh, make sure that we, um, we can get information as to what you wanna hear about. Uh, so I'll, I'll include those traditional things and also the, uh, the, health, the holistic health information. So what is, what is holistic health? Holistic health is looking at mind, body, and spirit, essentially. And, and I have to tell you, when I started uh, in, in health ministries talking about holistic health, uh, uh, the congregation that I was in, they were, they were afraid of that term. There was a, uh, a holistic health fair that happened regularly down the street from the church. And there was a lot of um, uh, fortune telling and um, palm reading and mediums and psychics and, and our congregation was really afraid of that. So they, they would uh, consider that holistic term to be like the, the psychic fair down the street. So they were really, they had a barrier. They had a barrier to learning about the, the important con, uh, connection between your mind, body, and your spirit. So our, our pastor, wonderful man, he was also a dentist. So I, we, we talked about that and, and from the pulpit he started mentioning the word holism and holistic and how that related to uh, your mind, you know, the mind, body, and spirit, and how that related to your health. And so after that, people started to really uh, start to embrace the, the education that I was doing and the classes that we were doing. So that was really helpful. But um, it, really, it really is an important concept because your mind, your mind, what you think, your emotions and what you're in the spirit and your physical, they are all connected. Your mind, uh, does dictate uh, what what goes on in your body. There, if you're cert thinking a certain thing, there are uh, chemicals and uh, hormones created that affect different parts of your body and can either harm or help you, your body. And so there is a connection, definite connection. Your things that are going on in your body also affect your mind and in your spirit, the spirit, your your soul. And so all of those things connect. So that also, like the physical, will also include uh, your nutrition. It will include your, uh, your movement. In my Temple Builders program, I talk about there's different pillars. So there's the, the physical, the, the um, movement, the mental, the emotional, relationships, and your lifestyle. And so, all of those things, if anything, any, any one of those is out of balance, then there's gonna be an imbalance in your health. So we talk about how to balance all those things, and, and things are not gonna be all equal, equally balanced, but if there's a certain area in your life that is down here, there are things that you should do to increase those to bring everything else in balance, and then you're, you're gonna be experiencing more health and wellness. There is a, um, a health and wellness, uh, there's an illness and wellness continuum. And this continuum, I don't have a graph of it now, but um, in, in a future episode, I will present that graphic for you. But it, it's, uh, it was presented by Dr. John Travis back in 72, and then he's, in, he's updated it in, in future years. But uh, there's, a, there's a continuum. So, in the center of it is just neutral. On this side, you're close to death. On this side, you have high level wellness. So, so everybody is on the continuum somewhere. 
So we look at if you're, if you're, here's the center, if you're moving toward illness, you might have some signs of some illness. Here you're starting to have symptoms of illness. And then here you're getting close to death. You have chronic illness and close to death. On this side, you're starting to say, hey, I think I need to do something uh, to, to make myself feel better. Uh, I might have been here with some signs and symptoms, but now I'm moving here because I, I'm noticing some things, I'm thinking about some things. Then you start to get some knowledge, and then you start to take some action so that you can have a higher level of wealth. So that's that whole continuum, and again, we're all on the continuum somewhere. We all have some improvements to, to make, I believe, So because we don't want to be on this side where we're close to death. We want to live a a really healthy life and get more toward a really healthy, healthy high level of wealth, of, of wealth and wellness also. But wellness is really, it's, it's not just the absence of disease. Being well, you, you can get a good night's sleep. You can sleep all night without tossing and turning. You, if you're well, you can get up in the morning Often without the alarm clock, because you've gotten a good night's sleep, you can get out of bed, you can put your feet on the floor and they don't hurt, you don't have to <laughs> hobble around, you can, because your bones and your muscles are strong, you're alert, you can get dressed yourself, you can feed yourself, you can have good relationships, you can um, exercise and without getting winded terribly, or you can, you have endurance and so those kind of things, you, and again, you, you have good relationships, you're mentally strong, you're not depressed, you're not anxious. So all those things go into uh, having a high level of wellness. Holistic health, um, and again, holistic health is balancing that mind, body, and spirit. Um, in holistic health, you are an active partner. You're not just going to a doctor or provider and them telling you what to do. You are an active partner and participant in your own health. You, um, you know what you want. You can present what you want, and, and a lot of times you can work with someone to help you, a counselor, uh, a coach to help you get to what you want, the type of life that you want to have. Um, and again, holistic health is that physical, the emotional, the mental, the relationships, the lifestyle. Do you know that lifestyle is about 50% of your health and your wellness? It, it, you know, some, there's some from maybe 20% from your, uh, your heredity, maybe 20% from the environment, um, maybe 10% of what your doctors or health care providers tell you what to do, but 50% of that is your own lifestyle and choices that you make. So really, all of that together, again, holistic health. Now, holistic medicine, what that does is deal with the root cause of an illness or a situation. And, and that's often what I talk to people about. What is the root cause? There was a, a, a situation, uh, one of the, a young lady came into the clinic and she was complaining of neck pain. And she goes, oh, you know, my, my neck is hurting so bad. And, and in the course of getting the information, she was telling me about her roommate, who her roommate just, she said she just, she gets on my nerves, she's a pain in my neck. And I, I said to her, do you realize what you just said? You said this person was a pain in your neck and you came in here today with a pain in your neck and you had no injury, nothing that would have caused that neck pain. So she said, oh, wow, I, I didn't really think about that. So those kind of things, really getting to the root cause. Um, and, and that's just one simple example. I have tons, tons of examples, but often, um, trauma, trauma that happens, and, and we've been so unfortunate today, you know, here in our area to have, uh, you know, the, the shootings, the mass shootings, there's been hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, landslides, people losing their homes, all of that is traumatic. It, and it does affect us. And we know through research that when people have experienced a trauma, that, that affects your whole nervous system. And 
there for your health. So we, we need to um, deal with those kind of traumatic things that happen to us and not just keep them inside. We need to talk about them, let them out. We find that people that have experienced a trauma in probably the past three to six months, later they may end up with a tumor or cancer. So that's uh, something that we know really does affect you. So we get to the root cause. Often anger, anger, unforgiveness, resentment, when people keep that in, that is definitely a root cause to illness and disease. So holistic medicine helps people to delve into that and, and figure those things out. Again, patient involvement in holistic medicine. There are holistic medicine um, offices and clinics and what those providers do is help involve you because it's you, your body, yourself, you know. So they help involve you in that. And also in uh, holistic medicine, there's the, the mixing of the conventional, uh, conventional medicine, the medicines, prescriptions, tests, and also holistic alternative things like uh, therapeutic touch, laying on of hands, um, Reiki, massage, um, um, just uh, alternative treatments like uh, essential oils, those kind of things. So just a mix, people find that a mixture of those things is very, very helpful to their health. And just another thing that I just want to let you know is the things that I believe. And the first thing is I believe in, in God. Uh, some people say higher spirit, uh, your higher power. I, you can use whatever you want, but that, that, uh, that uh, spirit that's a higher than you. And I also believe that the body has an innate power to heal itself. And, and, and through holistic health, people learn to, to figure that out. But your body can heal itself down to the very atoms and molecules in your cells in your body that make up the tissues, that make up the organs, that make up your body. So um, that, is, that is a key tenet in holistic health. The other thing that I believe is in miracles. I believe in miracles. And there, there, have, been, uh, there have been spontaneous healings that have happened. Sometimes they take a little longer because when you're healing, uh, healing doesn't always mean that there's a cure. But in your spirit, you may be healed. And, and that can constitute a miracle in, in your life. And the other thing is that there's energy. I believe in energy. Energy is all around us and we do have, uh, there is such a thing called energy medicine because that really is um, really key because we all give off energy, we all receive energy, and that does affect our bodies. So those are some things in tennis that I believe, and throughout our, our time together, I'm really excited that, that you're here, and that I hope that you can submit some questions, and I hope that you can get a benefit from uh, tuning in to us time after time. Um, so again, submit your questions and topics that you are interested in. You can submit that to Diane Hart Wellness. And that's uh, my website, dianehartwellness.com. Uh, uh, and my, my email address, if you want to submit a question, is dianepettis22 at gmail.com. D-I-A-N-N-E-P-E-T-T-I-S 22 at gmail.com. So everyone, I hope you have your best day ever today, and we will see you next time. Thank you for tuning in.